Hello. Today we're going to talk about Marvel's Avengers coming out Tuesday on every major gaming console and give, um, well, my thoughts on the game before the game actually comes out. So let's just get into it. Marvel's Avengers is the first game to come out for Crystal Dynamics and Square Enix on the all major gaming platforms. It is a third person RPG game where you can play as Iron Man, Captain America, The Hulk, Black Widow, Hawkeye and DLC, Thor and Miss Marvel. Now, all these characters play similar yet different. Miss Marvel is kind of a mid to long range character. Black Widow is definitely more of a long range to sometimes close combatant. Iron Man has the sky, but he's a little tricky to control. Captain America is almost your all around character. Thor is and Hulk are your heavy hitters. Like they will mess you up. This game is what I think Marvel Ultimate Alliance would have been if we would have got it on next gen. You have kind of the same RPG tree. You can upgrade skills, unlock outfits, stuff like that. Uh, the story is, well, pretty much every Marvel comic where the Avengers fail to save the day one time, the whole world turns against them, they're forced to disband, they're on the run or hiding in plain sight, and it's up to Miss Marvel to reunite the Avengers because AIM is doing AIM things. They're being bad. Of course, it's AIM. When has AIM ever been good? So, Miss Marvel discovers some secret which I don't know. I, it's in the beta maybe, but I didn't actually play the beta all the way through. I only played to get my name plates and you know, that that was really it. I just really wanted the name plates. Yeah. Anyways, once Miss Marvel reunites the Avengers, now it's up to the Earth's mightiest heroes to save the day again from Modok, who's actually to my recollection, making his very first video game appearance as a villain, or at least a main villain at that. I don't really remember him ever doing anything. Maybe he was in, I, I want to say Ultimate Alliance 2. I can't honestly remember. But he makes his big screen debut, well, big video game screen debut, that is, in Marvel's Avengers. Now, one of the biggest things that have come out of this game is the fact that everyone is upset about the character designs, especially for Captain America for some reason. Yes, he's not going to look like Chris Evans. He looks weird to some people. Me, eh, it's Captain America. He's going to look like Captain America. He's got blonde hair, blue eyes, perfect jawline, and guess what? This guy in the game, he has that. My upset was the outfit they chose. Now, granted, I said the same thing about Marvel Spider-Man. I didn't initially like the white logo because it had been traditionally black all these years. So the switch to a white logo was just weird. But once you play the game, once you understand the reasoning behind it, you know what? It's not bad. And the suit is actually pretty dope. So I'm pretty sure everyone will get over, over Cap's face and his gear. But someone did release today that you can have a bunch, and I mean a bunch bunch of different outfits for Captain America, including his original outfit, his more comic inspired outfit, his USA agent, and a few other ones that are unlocked in the game. This could be said for also Iron Man, Hulk, Miss Marvel, Black Widow, Thor, Hawkeye a little bit, they only showed like maybe one or two outfits for him, and potential DLC later down the line. Speaking of DLC, which is my biggest question is how is DLC going to tie into the game? Now, we don't know how long the game is. Well, I don't know how long the game is because I really didn't look into it. I was just so excited for this game to come out. How is DLC going to tie in? Because they did say Hawkeye will have his own missions, but they won't be main mission, mission, missions, mission, missions. So how is this tie into the game? Will these be after events, during events, something that may you want to do before you do a main mission that might actually help you in the main mission? And Spider-Man is supposed to be a, police, a PlayStation 4 exclusive. So how does he tie into the game? Why is he in San Francisco to begin with? Or maybe he takes place in New York. Maybe, who knows? All I know is I'm very excited for this game. Do I think it's going to be a game of the year? Not even close. This is not going to be a Spider-Man level of a A-plus title. I think this is going to be a good title to base for future titles, for future Marvel Avenger games, if we get more to add more characters, stuff like that. All in all, I think, honestly, if I'm giving an early review from just playing the beta, which I do have some nitpicks. The controls for Iron Man are a little wonky. I'm not the best flyer. Like, it just felt weird. Like, 
the, the joy cons just the button it just i couldn't seem to get the right feel of it it was funny that anthem prior to me had one of the best flying it just felt natural it felt right this one not so much black widow is very hard to control bugging could be controls and i was really just focused on just you know throwing hands with taskmaster all in all, the game has potential to be really cool. Is it going to be 10 out of 10, 5 out of 5? No. I think this game's going to, honestly, from an honest perspective, going to get a 6.7 or a 7 out of 10. It's going to be good to average. But again, this is the first game. First games aren't always knock out the park. Sometimes it takes another try. It takes at least maybe one or two games before you get a classic. And I think this could have the potential to be a classic. So, that's really much all I have to say about this game I will definitely be buying it and I'll be playing it Tuesday from roughly 6 p.m. to maybe 9 p.m. on Twitch so go on Twitch follow me follow me there we can talk about the game talk about comic books talk about what happened maybe the future of Black Panther I don't know um, before I end this video I definitely definitely want to say much love and much power to Chadwick Boseman thank you for all of your work thank you for all your movies all your sacrifice living with literal cancer for as long as you did and making all these moves and doing everything you did to help people of all colors white black everyone you did an amazing job and i hope that you i you know i think you are proud of your work and everything that you've done so that being said wakanda forever thank you squires I'm out.